This is Minecraft, but if I confuse you, I uh. win. Today, my friend bet $1,000 that I couldn't confuse him in Minecraft, so we have five attempts to try. My goal is to create the most uh. confusing Minecraft experience what? possible, but I only have 24 hours and five attempts. So, can I confuse him by attempt number five? No. Stay tuned to find out. Okay, if I get confused and give up, you get $1,000. You get five attempts. Go, go, go. All right, all right, here we go. Okay, so let's begin at level one, where the theme is gonna be a confusing house. And for this house, we only have the red square right here. Don't worry, though. I have a plan. So, real quick, let's get a house in. There we go. Very nice house. How are we going to confuse Crafty, though, with only this area? Let me show you guys what I got ready. So, this right here is a portal wand where we can bring up this portal that I already had ready, and it's going to take us to a whole new area. So, to remind you guys, this is how big the building is, and when he walks in, it's going to be a completely new area. We are going to make this man confused so quick. But for him to admit that he's confused, we got to code something real quick with the coder. Let's right click. So, because the entire goal of the video is to make the creator give up, let's start with the blank texture and just write the words give up that'll do it now let's outline it in white to make sure it stands out and that's all there is to it let's click confirm in three two one and get to the coding or the name is of course give up and this is what the youtuber is going to right click if they give up so let's click confirm in three two one and there we go this is the give up item and when he right clicks this well i win a thousand dollars okay so how this place is going to work once he goes inside here is we're going to make a house of illusions so let me decorate this place real quick that's a lot better and don't worry i'm getting help from a builder because we gotta win so now we have a one, two, and three for different illusion areas that he's gonna go in. That being said, two has nothing, three has nothing, and one, well, it has nothing for now. No worries though, I already have something set up. So we'll just lift this up real quick. And now we have another room that looks just like the previous room. This is gonna be the main illusion hub with one, two, and three, where number two is locked and number three is locked. So the YouTuber's mission is to get a key, which is gonna be hidden in plain sight, literally right here. But first, we gotta make a key. So let's right click this. I'm gonna start with a blank texture here and draw a simple key shape. A circle here, a line there, two teeth, and now let's color and shade. This will get the job done. And all we gotta do now now is just turn it upside down. That works. Now for the code in three, two, one, where the type is just a block and its skill is going to be to open the room two door when right clicked. Let's click confirm in three, two, one, and we got it. The upside down key where I've coded it now where we can only open that door with this guy. So let's hide him real quick right here. And now let me show you guys how this place is confusing. Obviously, he can't enter three, he can't enter two, but if he goes through one, he's going to go straight back where he was. Yep, it's an infinite, never ending room. That's only part one. Let me show you guys what happens when he goes to the balcony. So at the balcony, looks pretty normal. Just a staircase that goes down to the balcony. Yep, it's, it's a little confusing. And when he goes down to the balcony, he's up here. Don't worry. But there's an illusion in this room. Because if he goes, for example, right here, he sees a mirror of himself or me. And it's a never ending room. Look. And to get out, simply that's to go right here. Okay, so now when they have the key, they go to number two. And at number two, well, first, you're going to see the doors are very cursed. Because this is another portal into a very very empty room. And I'm not going to talk about that just yet. That being said, the theme for this room is it's going to be upside down. So let's real quick paste something in. That's a lot better. We now have an upside down room. And here's the goal of this room. There's a lot of buttons. Crafty's going to have to go all the way over here and press this special button right there. It's going to let him go through this place right here. That's going to be room number three. All right. It's a little bit weird, but he's going to be able to jump down into another room where it's pretty much the previous room, but upside down. And the goal goal here is to get to room number four, but it's going to be locked. So first, we need a key. So let's click the coder real quick. And for the key, this is going to be the television key, where it's just going to be a block and the skills is to open room four door when right clicked. That'll be pretty much it. Let's click confirm. And before we go back, we're going to be coding one more thing, which are the footprints, where its only skill is to place down the footprints. You guys will see what I mean. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And we got them. Good old footprints and a TV key, which is where we're going to hide it. I'll show you guys what I mean. First, Let's put down an item frame. It might not get the job done like this. Hold up. I fixed the code. There we go. So I'm just going to put footprints all the way over here. And they're going to have to go all the way to this area. Well, as you can see, there's not much going on. But I already got something planned. So all we got to do is real quick break these blocks right here. And there's nothing right now. But we're already ready. Because right down here, we already have a portal ready. And now it's kind of an illusion. Because all they got to do is check the TV out. And inside, we have the chest where we're going to put the TV key. And once they have the TV key, they can go ahead and open up number four. But right now, it's nothing. But don't worry. With the help of a friend, I already have the next room ready. This is going to be a fun one. All right, on to room number four. It's better explained if I just go through it. I'm going to go this way. And as I keep going, it's a never ending maze. But the only way to get out, guys, I won't show you guys yet. You guys are going to have to see what Crafty does. That being said, sooner or later, he'll get out. And 
enter room number 4.5. This is gonna be a fun one. As you can see, at the door for number five, there's creeper heads. So I have a fun idea for a puzzle. We have these three moths, the wolf, the chicken, and the cat, but we're gonna make them a little bit different first, cause that's confusing. So let's click our coder real quick. So let's start off with the dog, where we're gonna make him a cat. We're gonna start off by first turning the guy orange, and we'll give him some stripes and green eyes. Perfect. I'll polish him up a bit, and now we can go to bed. All right, let's go confirm in three, two, one. And so this is the confusing dog, where its name is the dog that meows, and its skin is literally cat skin. Let's go confirm, and this is what I mean. We now have the cat dog. It's honestly a little bit cursed, but it's about to get more cursed. Let's click the coder again, and now for the confusing chicken. We're, we're gonna turn this one into the dog first. Let's remove its beak. Sorry, little guy. And next, let's make his legs nice and full instead of those scrawny little things. Now we'll add the chicken skin tone to its face. Looks confusing enough to me. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And like the dog, this is the confusing chicken. Well, we're gonna call him the barking chicken. With, of course, the skin of the wolf. All right, let's go ahead and confirm. And oh my gosh, that is so cursed. So anyways, we have one left, which is the cat. And their goal is gonna be to figure out which one is the cat and take it to the door to open it because it's a creeper door. That's why they have the fishing rod. Anyways, let's go to the last one. Right click. And so finally, now for our cat. Well, we're turning this into the chicken to wrap it up. Let's start by making her entire body white. And now we're turning her nose into the beak. Two little black dots for eyes. And now chickens don't have four legs. So let's get rid of that. Now we just have a front too. I'll paint them yellow first and then erase everything we don't need. It's a little bit cursed, but you know what? It'll work. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And for the code, it's literally just the confusing cat where the skin is a chicken skin. So let's confirm that. And now we have, oh my gosh, it's even goofier game. Yeah, pretty much if that gets to the door, we get to the next room. And let me get one of these real quick. Just in case it gets stuck, I'm gonna hide one right here. Good old lead. That'll make it easier. Anyways, on to pretty much the final room, room number five, where it has nothing right now, but you guys probably already know what's coming. Let's get the portal wand out. And we just gotta drag this all the way up to reveal the final staircase of doom. When he goes inside, it's gonna go on for a good bit. And I'm gonna let you guys see it for the first time when crafty goes through. That being said, let me show you guys the end. So after a long time, you're gonna make it to this spot where it says turn around. And watch what happens when they turn around. It's the end. And of course, turn around again. And that's gonna be level one complete if they make it this far. So without that being done, let's get crafty online. Crafty! I'm ready! Welcome to level one where I need you to get one thing real quick before we begin. Okay. This is the give up button. <laughs> if you want to, you can go ahead and right click it right now and I win a thousand dollars. I'm but, not um, right clicking nothing, Nestor. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But anyways, if you look right in front of you, what do you see? A normal house, right? It's a normal house. Right. I'm not confused. <laughs> yeah, it's just a normal house. Don't worry. But here's your goal. You just got to go inside and make your way back out to the normal world, okay? I'm not going to help you. I'm going to disappear and you're just going to have lots of fun, okay? I've got to go in this house and then come back out of this house? You got to make it harder than this, dude. I'm not pressing this button for nothing. Hey, man, it's only level one. All right, good luck. Okay, I I'm walking in the house. This is way larger of a house than I was expecting. Welcome to the house inside of a house where your goal right now is to get through one, two, and three and figure out how to get out. Whenever you want, go ahead and go through door number one. Oh, I'm terrified. Find the upside down key. Oh, what the heck? Oh, gosh. Oh, the balcony. Okay. This is a balcony? This is totally normal. What could possibly go wrong? Well, you took the balcony upstairs. Good job, man. Uh, duh, thank you. Yeah, this is totally normal. I go downstairs to go up. I'm not confused. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> If you want, you can go to the mirror room. I feel like you'd had a lot of fun there. Okay, where's the mirror room? Is that number two? To your left. Just go right in there and have fun. Oh Bye. gosh, this is a trap. And he's disappeared. Okay, great. Oh, Nestor, this is weird, man. Have you not found your answer yet? The <laughs> answer is, I am wasting your time right now. So gosh, you really don't it. want to be in there. I knew it. I'm going to give you a hint, though. Got to get back downstairs by going upstairs, I guess. And there might be something you need for the key in the main room where you came in. Interesting. I like your hint telling me exactly what to do. I go up to go down, no problem. I'm looking for an upside down key. It's a, a, one of these fake uh, paintings. No, gosh dang it, Nestor, this is hard. <gasps> yes, you got it. I think I found something. If this explodes, I swear. Ah, I've got an upside down key. I got three of them in case I need them. Oh, uh, well, all you gotta do now is go to the number two door and congratulations, cause you beat number one. Yes. But it gets harder. Oh gosh, what is this? Go in, Crafty. But, oh, no, no. 
Have fun. Press the weird button. Welcome to the upside down room. I did leave a button here to help you get out of here if you can find the exit. Oh, no. So one of these buttons will get me out. Is that a weird button? <gasps> I think I found it already, Nestor. Do you want to press the weird button? That's the question. I'm, I'm not sure. That one seems too obvious, dude. Well, I mean, it's right there. All right. I'm pressing the weird button. Hey, yeah. What just happened? Turn around. Okay. Now go up the staircase and just believe. All right. I'm 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 on the roof. Go for ah! it. And now fall. Wait, what? Welcome. Now you are on level three. You have one goal now. You can either, you know, click the give up button or find the key to room number four. So I have to find a TV key. Okay. Well, there's a TV button. Oh, there's a room back here. <gasps> a TV key. That was easy. That, that was a lot quicker than I expected. All right. Good, good job, Crafty. <laughs> I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. That being said, on to room number four. TV key. On to room number four. This one, I will be surprised if you get. I'm not going to say anything. Just go straight. Nestor, what is this, man? You know what they say. Right is always right until it isn't. Nope, I'm back to where I started. That's not how That's not how this is supposed to work. Oh, you are going through it, man. I, I don't trust you, Nestor. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, wait, did you figure it out? Wait, wait, I, I, I'm in F5, but I just see a different area. You figured it out so quick, no! The question is, how do I get through it? Oh, I see. I walk forward, and then now I walk backwards. No. <laughs> oh, good job, man. All right, all right, I'll give it to you. Now, welcome to the next room where, look at the mobs. They're gonna be a little bit off. And if you look at the door for number five, because <laughs> it's room 4.5. This guy's so derpy, <laughs> I feel like his name is like Franklin or something. <laughs> Anyways, if you look at the door right now, your goal is to get the right animal to it. The only hint I'm giving you is creeper. I guess uh, pick whichever one you think is the right one. Okay, uh, creepers are afraid of cats. Do I got to bring a cat over? That's kind of my logic here. Fair, but which one is the cat? Which one is the cat? I'm listening for the muse. Are you a cat, little one? I punch you and do you make a little meow sound? <laughs> Nope. <gasps> There's something. Fishing rod. I've got what I need. All right, where's the cat? The cat's around here somewhere. Wait. Wait, no. <laughs> Wait. I already got there. No. Good job, little chicken cats. I'm proud of you, boys. Congratulations on beating room number five, or the cats did. Go on to the final test. Can you get through this illusion? Oh, gosh. I'm backwards. Oh, gosh. It's, it's a forever staircase. Is that what's happening? Maybe. Go all the way down and see what's waiting for you, okay? Okay, okay. I I don't trust you, Nestor. Keep going down. You're going to get stuck here forever. Unless, you know, wait, you figure it out. Okay, oh. there's a sign over here. Hold on, hold on. There's a hint of some kind. <laughs> Turn around. I'm back in the world, Nestor boy. No! <laughs> Congratulations, Crafty. Yes! That is level one complete. Let's go on to the next one. And it's going to get harder. You're not ready for it. That was just level one? Keep that give up button very ready. Uh... All right, see you in the next one. Okay, now for level two, where we have a little bit more area, and the theme is a desert temple. So that being said, let's paste in the temple real quick. There we go. One big old desert temple. Now to actually make it confusing, because inside feels pretty normal, but we're going to make under it a lot crazier. But it all begins with the temple itself. It's not going to be a real temple anymore. Let's right click you. It is time to make something insane. But we're going to start off with a basic empty canvas and build up from there. And with the help of my friends, we started off with the feet, the most solid of foundations. We needed this thing to be huge. Like very big. But with the foot done, let's do the leg. One leg done. Time for the other. And now time for the body, where it's going to be a basic pyramid shape. Let's stick the head on there. Some big old teeth and some basic arms. And now all that's left is just some polish. Look at this guy. Let's click confirm in 3, 2, 1. And as for the code, it's a giant desert temple where its only skill is to eat nearby players. Yep, I said that right. They're going to think it's a normal desert temple. He's going to come up and just eat him and take him to the real area. All right, let's click confirm in 3, 2, 1. And so now that we're back, let me show you guys what I mean. All he's going to do is walk straight in here and then he gets eaten. Okay. And now we have this basic empty room where I'm going to have a friend build me something insane. Let's go back to game mode creative. And so right now we have nothing. Let's add a big old temple. That's a lot better. This is the giant temple thing, which of course I got a friend to build me this because I do not have these skills. And we're going to be splitting it up into four rooms. There, 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 and there. That being said, it needs a lot more decorations. So real quick, let's get that added. There we go. Okay. So we have one, two, three, and four, where each room is going to lead to a piece of a key that's going to open up something in the center right there. It's not there yet, but that's why we have 
The coder. So real quick, let's place the sandstone right there. Well, let me show you guys what he's gonna try to open. Let's right click this. Okay, so we're gonna be starting with the blank scene. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is adding some cubes to get a basic shape going. Next, we'll add in some ears. And after that, a good old nose. Now let's give it some basic colors. And now we should have a good vision here. So because it's level two, I'm gonna hand it off to a modeling pro friend of mine and see what we get. Oh my goodness, this is great. I think we're good to go. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And now let's add the code where this is the desert coffin statue where the skill is to spawn on the giant desert temple when open. So he's gonna get spit out once it's opens and he's gonna have to fight a desert temple. Another reason for him to maybe use the give up button. All right, let's get it in in three, two, one. And now we have it. And so a statue key is required to open it. This is it right here. And these are the key pieces that we're gonna be putting into every single room. So to make the key, it's just simply a craft. He's gonna be using that crafting table right there. That's the craft on the screen right there. And now it's time to actually set up every confusing room. For example, room number one, where once he's in, he can't get out. And as you can see, Right now, it's a bit of an empty room, but we already have this covered. The only mission is to find the exit. And with a friend's help, guys, we already have the first confusing maze ready. So when I raise this up, inside is a never-ending maze. Look. So if he goes back, nothing happens. If he goes this way, nothing happens. And to get out, well, you guys will have to see how he does it. But when he does get out, he's going to be met with this item frame and one statue key piece. That's only number one. So with one done, now it's time for number two. So this room is going to be a little bit different different, where the puzzle is going to be with redstone. So you'll see something green there, something blue there, and as you go deeper, there's going to be a red thing there too, where it's all going to be hints to this item frame puzzle, where if he gets the combination right, this door right here is going to open. That being said, I'm not mean, so let me actually open up the hints. So with red, he's going to have to go up, and with blue, he's going to have to go right, and if he sees all the colors and memorizes these, he'll know how to get out of here. And to give him an extra reward for actually getting this right, when he goes all the way through here and actually makes it out, not only is he going to get an item frame with the statue key piece, but an extra extra one right here, which we're going to have to code real quick. Let's right click this. And what we're making real quick is the mummy sword, where he's going to need this, especially to defeat the giant desert temple. That being said, its skills is to sand slash when swing. It'll do some good damage. I'll also add some details, but let's see how it looks in three, two, one. And here it is, the mummy sword, which will go right there. And that should complete room number two. Next up is number three. Luckily, this one's a bit already set up. Let me show you guys. For the third puzzle, there's going to be four note blocks. When we press this right here, it does a bit of a sound thing. And if we look on this side, when we play this, it's a bit off. It's going to be pretty simple. If he matches this one with this one, that door is going to open. And of course, when he gets all the way here, he's going to get yet again, another statue key piece. And that was just number three. Pretty easy. On to room number four, where this one is going to be based more on candles, where we have a gray candle and a fake candle. So for example, all we got to do is just place a candle right there and right there. And if he lights all the correct candles, that door right there is going to open. So pretty much these right here are all the real ones. And to confuse them. This looks like these are the right ones to do, but these are actually fakes. And we're gonna add a little bit of code to them. Let's right click you. And so this is a fake candle where the name, of course, is gonna be candle. And the skills are to jump scare the player when lighted. Gotta keep them on edge. It's not the most confusing puzzle we've done yet, but it might take them a second. But when that's solved, this should be open. And of course, at the very end, let's go ahead and put the glow item frame with one statue key piece. And now that should complete all four. So they're gonna have to go through one, two, three, and four, and then open open the sarcophagus. Let's see how he does, and hopefully he gives up in three, two, one. All right, Crafty, welcome to level number two, where I'm gonna give you something before you go inside this desert temple. You'll need this. Oh, gosh. Here's your mission. All you gotta do is go inside and just, uh, just go inside and go to the blue thing. All right? <laughs> That's it? Go inside and go to the blue thing? That's the... Uh, I'm the blue thing. Can I just stand next to myself? Not really, but you can click the give up button if you want. Oh, God! Oh, my... Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Inside the Giant Desert Temple. Oh. Your mission now is go downstairs and, uh, you know, explore. <laughs> you have the worst missions ever. Okay, well, there's a, a statue key. Interesting. So this is the sarcophagus of, I'm not going to tell you, but if you look around you, there's a one, there's a two, there's a three, and there's a four. Do those in order, each room being maybe a little bit more confusing than the other, and uh, that's how you get the statue key. Go ahead and go to number one, though, Mr. Crafty. I think you got this. It's time for door number one.
I've got this no problem. Find the exit. I already found it. It's right over here. Uh, no, no, nope. uh, Crafty, I don't think you can go back. Oh, I don't, I don't trust anything, all right? We've been through this already. I don't trust anything you say or do. Oh, gosh, dang it. It's fine. There's just a bunch of me again. Great. Um, I gotta find the exit. Oh, gosh. Nope, that's, that's a dead end. How about this way? Oh, no. At any point, you can click the give up button, Crafty. You're doing great, man. All right, thanks for the reminder. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm here Whoa! for. No! Yes! Yes! That was so easy! Statue key piece acquired. All right, that's number one. Level two. I'm ready, Nestor. All right, do your thing, buddy. Go inside, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you some information. Okay. You're gonna see paintings, and you're gonna see rugs. You're gonna wanna break those, because when you break those, <gasps> there's a little hint. Okay. Memorize the color, and memorize the direction. That's all you need to know. Oh, so blue is to the right, I guess? Oh, here's a key piece. Do I gotta flick the lever? Wait, 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 wait. So, green was to the right. That's left, and that's blue. What? Uh, uh, blue was to the right. Uh, uh-huh. And then maybe I go up this ladder. I'm dyslexic, Nestor. This is going to be rough. It's okay, because guess what? Turn around, because you just accidentally got the code right. Wait, what? Messed up the redstone. <laughs> no! Dude, easiest challenges ever. Let's get to number three. Number three. This one, it's going to be a bit harder than whatever you just went through. Uh-huh, sure it is. Yeah, I'll accidentally solve it again. You got to make the same music to escape now. If you look to your left, click that button. Uh-huh. Oh! I like it. If you turn around, there's another little button thing. You gotta match the two. Okay, so it has, they have different sounds. So this is like a lower sound. Oh no, there's so many options, dude. Oh, easy, got one. No! Okay, okay, this one's lower. Wait a second, it glowed white whenever I got it right. Can I just scroll through until it gives me a white particle? Ah! No! I made it way too easy, no! Uh, you thought this was gonna be challenging? I'm listening, yeah! Oh my goodness. Now play it. Now play it. <laughs> Congratulations. That was not as hard as I thought it would be. Go upstairs and get the chest. Crushed it. Another key piece acquired. All right, Grafty. For number four, the last one, you need a flint and steel. The rest is up to you. Oh, no, 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 not that. Not that. That's not, not that. Okay. That's not it. My bad. My bad. Uh, you know what? Uh, make your way inside and uh, pay attention to the candles. That's all you got to do. Pay attention to the candles, he says. We got some burnt candles and normal. Normal candles. Oh gosh, there's a lot of candles, Nestor. <laughs> what is this? I uh, well, why don't you just try lighting one? See what happens. All right, I lit this candle. Nothing happened. I lit this candle. Not, I, I light all the candles. Oh, something opened. All right, I'm just gonna light all of them. Okay, okay. I, I'm here in redstone. Maybe I light all the ones that have these little faces on it. Oh, I heard a door. I heard a door. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait, no way you got that first try. No way, no way. I even shuffled <laughs> it. Nestor! No! Nestor, what, what happened? Level two <laughs> is a joke. What is this? Bro, level two, easy. You won't get past this next one. Because this next one, it, it's a little bit more difficult. Go ahead and make your key and open Open him up and see what happens. All right. You know what? I'm, I'm going to say right now, I recommend giving up now. Uh, well, I have a feeling it's going to be the terrifying monster from earlier. That was some pretty good foreshadowing. All right, we unlock it. What? What is happening? What? Hello? Wait. Look forward. Um. Oh my goodness. Nestor! This is the desert monster. And here's how it's going to work. You might want to go and use your sword as a projectile. As a projectile. Hey, yeah. Oh, snap. I shoot out like sand or something. Oh, gosh. You're already doing so much damage to him. What? Take this monster right in the mouth. Oh, dude, he's almost dead. Oh, my goodness. No. Ouch. Oh, he's doing damage to me. Yeah! Oh, dude. my goodness. No. Piece of kit. You shouldn't have given me that hint, dude. That was easy. All right. You know what? That's level two done. It might have been easier than level one, but level three, trust me, it's going to confuse you. On to level three. All right. Time for level three. We're getting a little concerned because he hasn't given up yet. So we're ramping up, guys. I got even more friends to help me with this one. We're this set up a lot of stuff down there. That being said, let's start off with this new item called the time loop, where we're going to be confusing him with time this time. Get it? Time this time? Where when I click the time loop, this happens! Look at it go! This is only ambiance right now, because it's going to get crazier down there. But first to get there, we need some parkour. So, let's get it in real quick. There we go. And now his goal is to really just parkour all the way to the end, but we need to make it weirder. See these blocks right here? We're going to code them into something else. Let's right click. And so this is going to be a simple one. This is a clock block where the skill is to speed up at day cycle when placed. I'm going to add the texture to it and everything. That's a clock. But let me show you guys what it does when we click confirm. In three, two, one. And so once he goes through all this parkour, he's going to reach 
there's a spot over here where you probably already know what's going to be in there, but I'll get to that very soon. Because the main important part for this next area are these three item frames, where this is going to be speed up time, slow down time, and stop time. And yep, I mean everything in Minecraft. Let's code real quick. So first, speed up time, where the type is going to be item and its skill is to speed up all time when right clicked. Let's go to confirm. And now let's do slow down time, where it's going to instead slow down time when right clicked. All right, let's go to confirm. And now finally, stop time, where it's going to stop all of time when right clicked. These are going to be really cool, and you're going to have to think out of the box to really solve some of the puzzles coming up that my friends made. All right, let's go confirm in three, two, one, and here they are. Stop time, speed up time, and slow down time. All right, so speed up time goes there, slow down time goes there, and stop time will go right here. So they need to grab these because when they click these, everything around them is going to change. You'll see later. And now finally, for where they're going, as you can see, we can actually move a portal up here. Right now, it's nothing. But watch this. It actually leads somewhere. When we go through, this this is going to be the first test of the slow down time and speed up time, where when I break one of these diamond blocks, let me demonstrate right here, this happens. All the diamond blocks connected are going to break, and if they slow down time, they'll be able to parkour over every single sand block, all the way to the ending over there, which is going to be the next time challenge. And if they make it through everything, then they're going to get to the trial number three. That being said, let me add one more thing in the first area. Okay, so we have the clocks, we have the crazy ambiance, but let me show you guys one last thing we can do with time. First, let's paste in a cage up here. There we go. And you might be wondering, why do we have a random glass cage? We're about to do something goofy. Because we don't need these right now. But instead, let's get the chicken. Let's get the cat. Let's get the wolf. Why not a cow? And a pig. And we'll just spawn them all over the place real quick. Some good old cows. Some good old wolves. Or, oh wait, I forgot they were cats. Um, yeah, you know what? We're going to go with these. Let's get all these guys in. And now for the fun part. Watch these commands. So first, we're going to change the gravity of all things to 0.01. .01. So when they move down, they'll go really slow. And now for something even more goofy, we're going to randomize the direction of the gravity. Look at them go! But if we replace near and get this, they're now free! Have fun, my friends! That's some good ambiance. Alright, so level 2 should be ready. They just gotta break these and, of course, use these buttons. But let me show you guys what else my friend set up to make him give up, because we really need them to give up. Through this door, we have something absolutely crazy. It's nothing. But you already know the vibes. We just gotta grab it from here. And this is gonna be the next area right here, where they're gonna be walking into a crazy build. As for the goal of this build, though, it's gonna be a bomb. I've coded it where these levers are gonna be for a bomb, which we gotta code up still. So there's four here. One, two, three over there, and four. As for the bomb, let's code that up real quick. Right click, and so this is gonna be the Super TNT, where the explosion power is gonna be 9,500, and the skill is to count down from one minute when spawned. I borrowed a nice model for it, but the main thing to know is that they're gonna have to use their slow down time ability to use this. Let's go confirm in three, two, one, and now we have the bomb, where you can see it's gonna explode in that much time, but already slow down time. And if we speed up time, well, it's going to go very quickly. So let's slow down it again. And you might be wondering, Nestor, why doesn't he just stop time? Well, if he stops time, I made it so he can't use that right now. So this goal is to get all the levers. And now for the final part, which you'll find right under this arrow. And luckily this time, it's a completely normal door. But behind the door is going to be an insane room with some minecart rides. But pretty much you'll ride all the way down to this little TNT area here. Here's the final challenge, though. I'm going to be making him fight a warden. And if you guys know the warden in Minecraft, it's very difficult to kill this guy. Like, very difficult. Unless you can stop time. For example, if we time stop, he stops in his tracks. And his goal is gonna be to try to light TNT and kill him in one go. If he gets the puzzle right, he just has to do that. And once we unstop time, this is gonna explode. And he also gets lava, arrows, and all the stuff in the world. So literally, he can just do this. This is his goal right here. He needs to do something crazy like this to kill the warden in one hit. Not the hardest challenge, but pretty cool. So without that being done, let's see how Crafty does. All right, Crafty, level three. All you got to do is go down in the time parkour. If you look around, there, there, there's a lot of stuff going on. You just got to jump it, all right? What? Why is the sun so fast, Nestor? That, that's honestly the most normal part of this whole thing. Just get to the end if you can. Have fun. All right, I, I've got to jump on these platforms. This is fine. I'm having a great time. This is, this is easy parkour, dude. Oh, dude, some of these jumps are getting hard, man. Yeah. Don't worry. And if you do fail, you can do this all over again or give up. Rush Oh, <laughs> and as you can see, you finally found the three little time tokens. Oh. 
Ooh, speed up time, slow down time, and stop time. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay, so how this is gonna work is you have one mission. With those new time tokens, the theme of this area is stopping time. Ah. So when I break this time block, you're gonna have to make a decision on how you're gonna be able to make it to the very end here. So, would you like to use any of your things before I break it? You can tell me when to break the time block. I'm gonna slow down time right now. All right, do your thing. All right, I've slowed it down. Breaking in three, two, I'm ready. One. Oh, there it goes. You might want to slow it down more or stop it. Ah! Okay, okay. I'm just going to keep going a little more and stop. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. All right, Crafty. <sighs> now, can you jump on the stopped time sand? Oh, this is so weird, dude. Okay, okay. Yes, I can. I can. This is so weird. I, I feel so weird on my toes. I'm booking it, dude. He's doing all the jumps. He's doing all the jumps. He's crazy. He's crazy. Oh, oh! and well done. And we couldn't only have one. We have another one right here. Oh. Where are you ready to stop time again? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go in three, two, one. There it goes. Okay. And perfect. Oh. Nice. All right. Now, can you do this one? It would be kind of nice if I could reverse time, but you know, all oh, these jumps are getting hard, Nestor. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I was falling in the sand. Oh my goodness. And now you got to dodge that one. Wait, what the heck? If you just go straight, you'll be fine. Yeah. Congratulations, Crafty. Now, I'm going to only give you 10 seconds for this one. Think fast, because I'm about to break this one in three, two, one. Here it goes. Oh. And stop time. Now, I can do it. Got to go quick. Got to go quick. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's going to make it. He's going to ah! make it. Oh, I almost oh, fell through the sand. Oh, oh, oh. I almost fell through the sand. Can you make that last jump? Can you make that last jump? I don't know. <laughs> yes, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> that was crazy. Congratulations. Now, let's go to the next room. Let's do it. Defuse the TNT. Tea. Oh, I messed that up. It's not actually five seconds. It's 60. Uh, you might want to think quick or slow down time right now, because if you follow me this way, there's going to be a clock and a bomb that's about to explode in 55 seconds. Come straight this way, buddy. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. I've got to defuse the bomb. Yes. Try stopping time. Stop. It's still going. 53 seconds. If it explodes, you do lose and have to do this over and over again. Go around to the levers, flip them, and try and hope that that thing does not explode. There's four of them. I've slowed down as much time as I can. Run! Okay, that's one lever. There's two. Two? Okay. All right, now I just gotta find the other two. Oh, gosh, that time is still going down, Crafty. Be careful. No, it's all the way over there. Yep, yep, yep. Have a good run. <laughs> Use my little legs. And final one. You actually did this in pretty good time. Yes! Congratulations! So, I just realized I never deactivated the bomb. So, here, follow me before the bomb kills us all. Okay, yep, sounds good. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Congratulations, you did deactivate the bomb. And if you come over here, there's a little minecart thing. Oh my You might God. have a fun ride real quick. Press the button and ride your way down. Yeah, oh, oh no, come missed. back. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> He's using it to his advantage. Here's the thing, though. You might have some fun right now, but when you get to the bottom, there is something going to be waiting for you, okay? Okay. And oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, God. Yep, 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 yep. No worries, no worries. With time pause, you don't take fall damage. That being said, Mr. Crafty. Yes. Be ready with your time things, because this is your next opponent. Ah, Nestor, why? You might what is stop time? Uh, stop time. Stop. So go visit your friend real quick. Okay. Um... Uh, hi. He's currently stuck on time. Here's your mission, Crafty. You have only one attempt to kill him. During time being stopped, try to make the biggest attack possible to kill the warden in one hit. And if you do it, you win level four. I have to kill the warden one hit? Yes. And if you fail this, the next time, you gotta do two, then three, oh, then four. No. So you better get rid of it right this time, or you can give up right now. Oh, okay. Um, um, so I can punch him a bunch, and then maybe when I start time, it'll do a lot of damage. That'll take forever, though, dude dude, because I don't do a whole lot of damage with these fingies. <gasps> Lava, that might help. I got arrows and a bow. So, oh, you know what I could do? If I shoot while time is stopped, yes! And now if I start time, is that gonna... Yeah! Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. So I can just shoot them like this, prepare all the arrows, and they'll all fly at once. Nestor, will this count as one shot? Technically, yes. Yes! So, you gotta get as many shots going, <laughs> all the TNT, everything, you can get all your attacks ready. But remember, <gasps> if you get two cocky and it doesn't kill him you gotta do this all over again Ugh. infinitely until you give up so i have to make sure i definitely have enough arrows yes okay i've got some planks and flint and steel okay this is good this is good so i've got a little interesting strat here if i put some of these blocks down like this and then i put lava on top and then i can shoot the warden through
through the lava. Easy money. And then, of course, for good measure, I can light some of these bad boys. That is horrifying to look at. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that, that should do them in. That is a lot of arrows. Okay. Are we ready? I am ready. Three, two, one. Start time. Yeah. Oh, come oh, God. On. Please, please, TNT. No, 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 no. Please, TNT. Oh, oh no. Yes! We got him. We got him. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that was way too close, man. I am so glad that TNT worked. All right. Well, with that being done, that is level three complete. Crafty, congratulations. This next one, I'm going to make sure it's impossible. Here we go. Okay, there's five levels and five attempts, but I'm going to make sure level four is the final one. I have a fun idea with this barrel. So we have a bigger area again and also some more builders. So real quick, bring on the beautiful house. There we go. Oh, wow. They did really good. But we're going to keep it simple for the confusion on this one. All he has to do is go inside to this nice house. He just needs to go all the way up here and check this little bookshelf area out. As you can see, there's nothing going on right there. What we need first is just a simple painting because with the painting, we're going to be pacing this guy. Good old Donkey Kong because I've already coded it where when they go up to it, this is going to happen. They get teleported into the painting where for now, this looks pretty mundane. Nothing much going on, but his goal is to get all the way up. Let's actually get out of here and let me show you guys what is the Minecraft painting into the real deal. That's only part of the confusion because we're going to now code three things. Let's get the coder out and here we go. So first up, we need the recording camera where it's just going to be a camera and it's going to record a YouTuber when held. Let's click confirm in three, two, one. And now for the main event, guys, we are going to be making the first Donkey Kong Mario game in Minecraft. So let's go ahead and start off with the vanilla barrel. We'll lay on inside and give it a simple rolling animation like this. Perfect. Now we have a projectile. Let's code it in. So for the code, it's just a barrel and its skills is to fall down when spawned. Let's go confirm in three, two, one. And now for the main thing, which is Kong. So it's going to be very simple, guys. All we're doing is we're going to take this Donkey Kong image I found online and we're just going to drag it into block bench. Perfecto. Now let's go to man in three, two, one. And his name is, of course, Kong, where the skills are to summon the barrels when players are nearby. Now to place him in, let's go confirm in three, two, one. And we have him. Good old Donkey Kong. Where now, if we place him right here, he's throwing the barrels. Look at him go. Okay, let me just fly out here. And this is the fun part, guys. His goal is to get to Donkey Kong to win this level, but I've made it impossible where I can speed up the speed of the barrels quicker and each barrel is going to do a lot of damage unless he jumps over it. And if he dies, he has to restart over and over again. I'm feeling good about this one and I think he's going to hit the give up button. But you might be wondering, that's not really confusing. I have a little trick up my sleeve, but you guys are going to have to see that for yourselves with Crafty's attempt coming right up. Here we go. Crafty, welcome to level four, which I think it's going to be the final one, man. I don't see you getting through this one. Honestly, Nestor, these were easy. Uh, I think I'm going to be fine. <laughs> easy. Oh, okay. Okay. What? The hubris. All good. Follow me straight this way. Right here, Crafty, you're going to see an iconic Minecraft painting. It's of Donkey Kong. Oh, is that what this is? Yeah, yeah. Just go inside and uh, there might be a base behind it. If I hit my face in this painting and there's wood behind it. Oh, gosh. Uh, Nestor? Crafty, welcome. On my screen, you're now the player for Donkey Kong. What? Where Kong is at the top with his barrels and they're coming straight down to you right now. Oh, no. The mission is simple. Make it to him and hit him once. And if you can't, or if you die, you will be teleported <laughs> all the way back to the start. Oh, gosh. Why? You could have picked any game from my childhood, but no. I gotta dodge barrels and punch a monkey? Not cool, man. I can also speed up the barrels at any point. Of course you can. This might be impossible. I pretty much made it impossible. So that give up button is right there. But here they come. Ah! Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's a lot of barrels. That's a lot of barrels. Oh, 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 oh. oh he's doing it. He's keep doing it. Ow, ow. Oh, keep jumping, keep jumping. Oh, oh, goodness. oh I, I don't think it's possible, Crafty, <laughs> man. You're already so low in health and there's oh, so much no. more to go. It's fine, oh, it's fine. Man. Hold oh, on, man. if I can find a safe spot. No! All right, Crafty, round two. Uh, you ready for this? Dude, am I back at the start? Oh, gosh. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. You only made it probably 30% of the way there. No way. And every you, time you die, it's increasing in damage and speed. Great. Oh, yeah, that, that's just going to be awesome. Just got to go fast before the barrels get here. Go, 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 go. Oh, here it goes again. Here it goes no, again. No, no, no. The barrels Crafty, will be here any second. It's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Just go fast. Oh, there's the barrels. There jump, they are. jump. They're so fast, dude. Ow. Go, go on, bro. Let's go on. Go on. Get they him, do get so him, much him. damage. How? And there he goes again. 
Gosh dang it, Nestor! One eternity later. Crafty buddy! <laughs> it's, it's been quite a while. What are you doing down here now? I can't do this, man. There, it's impossible. It's just getting harder. They hit harder. It's right at the start. They're spawn camping me. So are you saying, Mr. Crafty, that you're gonna give up? Nestor, I, I think I have to, man. I've gotta go see my wife and kids. You had a good run? And I didn't even know you had a wife and kids. I don't, but one day I will, but if I'm here forever, I'll never have one. That makes sense. You know what? Good enough reason. Click the give up button and send the money. Here we go. All right. I'm giving up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, my uh, goodness. Crafty, you did an amazing job. But hey, maybe next time. Well, hope you guys all enjoyed. Have a great one. And here's the video. Just like this one. Bye, guys.